In this guide, I'm going to show you how you can get world edit in Minecraft 4 version 1.21.10 and future Minecraft versions. Before we do dive into the guide, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel with all notifications on. It really does help the channel and lets us know that you want more content like this. We'd greatly appreciate it. And if at any point throughout this guide, you do have any questions, just ask them down in the comment section below and we can help you out further. I'm going to be doing my best to reply to every single comment down there. But first things first, if you have Minecraft open, and yes, this does include the launcher, go ahead and close out of it. And what you're going to want to do is actually open up a web browser of your choice and actually head to curseforge.com. From here, go ahead and select Minecraft. And in this section, go ahead and choose browse all. And from here, simply go ahead and type in world edit, just like so. Hit enter. And in this section to filter, you're going to want to select the top option and then go into the files tab. And for the game versions, go ahead and select 1.21.10. And you're going to want to go ahead and download the world edit, specifically the beta version of it by selecting the three dots and hitting download file. It's going to redirect you to a page that looks something like this. It's going to take about five seconds for it to automatically start downloading. But once it downloads, you'll see it up here as a jar file. Open up a Dune tab now and search for fabricmc.net and go ahead and hit download on this. And from here, tap download for Windows and it's going to open up a page that looks like this. And then select that installer to load a little page that looks like this. From here, go ahead and just make sure your Minecraft version is 1.21.10 and select this create profile tab and hit install. It'll take like two seconds, hit OK and then close out of this. And then return to Curse Forge and go back to this browse section and select Minecraft one more time. And this time go ahead and type in fabric and hit enter and look specifically for fabric API. Select that option, go to files, filter it specifically by 1.21.10 and download the first option by clicking on the three lines and hitting download. Wait for that to load for five seconds and then it should automatically start finishing. And if it does say something like suspicious download blocked, go ahead and select that and hit download suspicious file. Don't worry, it is safe. From here, go ahead and open up that Minecraft launcher again and wait for it to load. And once it does load, what you're going to want to do is actually filter specifically to the fabric loader for 1.21.10. From here, go up to the installation tab up here, find that exact same fabric loader and click on the installations folder. And scroll down on this tab until you see the mods folder within here. If you don't see the mods folder, simply go ahead and add it in there. But after doing so and getting this mods folder opened, put this up here and open up another version of File Explorer and go into your downloads and essentially just drag in that Fabric API and that World Edit mod just like so. Now you can close out of both of these options. Go back to the play tab, ensure that it is on this Fabric loader and hit play and it'll begin loading you into Minecraft. Once you get loaded into Minecraft, go ahead and get loaded into any game of your choice. In this case, let's go ahead and say I want to get in this one right here. And all you need to do is actually just type dash dash wand and hit enter. And it's going to give you this little wooden axe that looks something like this. Left click and then right click to select two positions. So you could do like left click here, right click here, and then run commands like dash dash replace or dash dash set. It really is as simple as that. That's how you can get world at it. If you have any questions, ask them down in the comment section below and we can help you out further. And before you do leave this video, make sure to like the video and subscribe to the channel with all notifications on. It really does help the channel. It lets us know that you want more content like this. We'd greatly appreciate it. Have a great rest of your day though. Peace.